And we're back in the Hangry District kitchen on our adventure through Westeros with our Game of Thrones series. And it is time for something sweet. We're still at the wall and we are going to make some iced blueberries with sweet cream. Lord Thomas, tell us about it. From the Lord Commander's own table, Bowen Marsh told them. There were salads of spinach and chickpeas and turnip greens, and afterwards, bowls of iced blueberries and sweet cream. Yum. So we're gonna make those right now. It's really easy. First, I have two egg whites that have been whipped. Um, I just whipped them up with my hand mixer and I just separated the yolk from the egg using the eggshell. You can check that out on the first episode of this series with our beef and bacon pie. And what we're gonna do is heat a little saucepan over low heat. And we are going to add the whipped egg whites. Right, Lord Thomas? Correct. And one cup of cream or milk. We're using cream today. You may hear and see Prince Pounce, is that his name? Sir Pounce. Sir Pounce. He's one of the kittens in uh, the wall. He's very interested in the final products. Yes. So we've added one cup of cream and now we're going to whisk and just bring this to right under a boil. We don't want it to boil. What's your favorite dessert from Westeros? I love the uh, Frey pie. Oh. It's a dish served cold by Arya Stark. Cold hearted? Yes. I meant as in like revenge. Right, right, right. Why is that? Spoiler alert. Because Arya kills Walter Frey's sons. No. And bakes them into a pie. Similar to our beef and bacon pie? Similar, yes. Mm. Any enemies of Michelle's? Uh, Beware of the beef and bacon pie. And any police or knights of the realm, uh, it wasn't her. So what are we going to add after this comes to a simmer? Well, we're going to add some honey okay. and a little bit of salt. All right, if you want to go ahead and unscrew the honey for me. This, I can hear, is starting to simmer. Since we've added egg whites to it, it looks very frothy, so it's a little bit harder to tell when it's simmering. So you have to really use your ears. Prince yeah. Pounce, Sir Pounce, is very good at using his ears. He can hear when the cat food is open, when the bacon is open. It's a clever little kitty. It's very helpful if you need to know if someone's eating a midnight snack without your knowledge. Right. Now, why don't you want to boil the cream and egg whites? It will burn, and it'll create a bit, very bitter flavor. I don't know if you if you drink coffee very much, but sometimes you'll get a latte where you know that the, the milk has been steamed too hot and it tastes terrible. So we're going to try to avoid that. You can also feel with the whisk that it's getting thicker. So it's time to add the honey and the salt. Thank you. and it has just begun to bubble. So we're going to add two teaspoons of honey. This is like a quarter teaspoon, so I'm just gonna add a giant dollop. Mm. Well, the honey certainly went over well in the other dishes yes. served in Westeros. Yes, I think Westeros uses a lot of honey, probably because it's easy to, uh, to source from the bees. Which brings us to our main point. Bees are dying <coughs> all what? over the country. Save the bees. But for real. Okay, then we'll add in a pinch of salt. Watch your sleeves. You can see those bubbles are just starting to break at the top. We're gonna give that another stir. And we're going to strain it. Right, Lord Thomas? That's correct. 
Now what does the straining do here? You'll see, there's lots of little pieces of sugar and egg. It seems like something I would want to eat. Yeah, it's not gonna be so great with the cream. Ruins the overall flavor. Yeah, I think I just broke something in the sink. That just means you uh, had a good meal. Right, Opa. <laughs> that is what they say. Okay, so we're gonna take our spatula and just smash it down the cream mm -hmm. into our bowl, getting rid of any solid bits. Very, it smells like nice, Nice uh, roasted, like warm milk, a very comforting thing. You smell it? Almost like a vanilla y. Yeah. Uh, With that honey. Ah, mm. oh, is that what that is? Uh, the, the honey there. The honey Solidifying and the egg. back. Ah, oh, the egg, yes, mm -hmm. okay. So we don't want that. In we don't want a cream. scrambled iced blueberries. Right. So then we'll get all the rest of the cream, which I'm just failing. At getting in the bowl. Okay. I mean, you think dessert, you don't think cooked egg. Um, but eggs go in a lot of fun desserts. Right. So now we'll add the sugar and the cream, right? That's correct. I kind of made a mess here, but that's okay. That's, that's our mm. pittance for Sir Pounce when he arrives. Right, right, right. So we're gonna add in the rest of the cream here. Worry about that part. Just keep, want to give it a stir as I'm pouring it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. All right. And the sugar. Okay, so now we're gonna let this chill and then we're gonna bring out our frozen blueberries, which I've frozen, let me show you, flat. <laughs> I have frozen them on a tray here in a Ziploc flat because if you freeze them all together, you won't be able to get them apart and they'll all stick. So you wanna freeze them flat on here in a bag, and then we're going to put them in a beautiful bowl and serve some cream over it, and then we'll have a feast. So we have had quite a feast here throughout Westeros. Wouldn't you say, Lord Thomas? I would. What have we made so far? Well, we've made the buttered carrots, the onions and gravy, the beef and bacon pie, our mulled wine, of course. And now we're going to top it all off with our frozen blueberries and sweet cream. So I've let this cream uh, sit in the freezer for about 20 minutes and get nice and cold. And I've put my frozen blueberries in these beautiful cups and I'm just gonna spoon the cream over top. And if you wanna grab two little spoons out for us, Lord Thomas. Of course. I think this was one of Ario's favorites. Sansa makes her own lemon tarts. Lemon cakes, Lemon yes. cakes, yes. We can do those at another time. And then we'll just finish it off with a little fresh mint sprig. But don't eat it. You can eat it. And but there eat. we have our beautiful blueberries, iced blueberries with sweet cream to go with the rest of our feast here. Let's give it a try. All right. A good way to end a hard day battling and- And staying alive. Playing the game. Yes, we stayed alive. Mmm. The sweet cream is almost like custard. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. And the blueberries are super frozen and kind of like ice cream. Yeah, the, making them frozen, yeah, really adds a fun 
texture, I think. Mm. That is amazing. If I was eating like this in Westeros, I can see why uh, it would be so... Wait, that was dumb. If I was eating like this in Westeros, I wouldn't want to die either. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Lord Thomas, for coming and helping out with our feast. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can find all the recipes on hangrydistrict.com. And also in the cookbook, A Feast of Ice and Fire. So, we'll see you next time. Bye!